Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who's been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. from between the hedges at Sanford Stadium here in Athens, Georgia. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. As the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. The cavalry's coming. Picks up five on the scramble. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Gives it to the back. And down he goes at the 29. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? the snap. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The Bulldogs know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. They're about four yards away here on third down. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. That makes, that makes it fourth and four. four. Owen is waiting for the snap. Yards. 
Georgia's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. Open field, brought down in the open field. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. From the 33-yard line, first down. He's scrambling. Bush gains about two yards on the scramble. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. Takes the give. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. It's third and five. Ball on the 28-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He takes off. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So a six-play, 60-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So our score, 7-0 from the five-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He goes downtown. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Second and 10, ball on the 30. They come out on an empty backfield. He's got it with room to run. Tackle around the 48-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. Nice run up the middle. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. That brings him second and five. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. He's in trouble. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 47. Slings it to his tight end, but he drops it.
And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. And they push him out at the 24-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. South Carolina is up a score. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the 24. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, Gamecocks. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Mike 52, Mike 52. <laughs> Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. From their own 23-yard line, third down. Throws complete, he's got space to work. Touchdown, big play. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route, and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. And he hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Horned Frogs come in today's game ranked number six. And for TCU, they hope to continue their winning ways. TCU has the edge, 10-3. In another game, time to check out the proceedings on the farm in Palo Alto. Back and forth, these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. Ball State leads at 14-10. 14 to nothing in this one, Reese. Brown, deep to return. Rivers get set to kick this one away. Caught at the eight. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 36-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Heading for the corner. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Taken down at the 45-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 45. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away.
was a very impressive open field tackle. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. the ninth play of the drive. Pitch out. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. That makes it third and three. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Fires quickly. Touchdown! This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Justice has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Taken at the five. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. South Carolina up seven points. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at about the 31. Patrick picks up six yards with that grab. The Gamecocks will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's hit immediately. White picks him up six yards with a catch. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Short pass, middle of the field, and he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Brought down at about the 45. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Carter to punt. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Cody's performance for his team generally reflects how the team is going to play. And unfortunately for them right now, that's what they're seeing here. And Brad, I just think they've gotten so accustomed to waiting to see how their star player plays that they've gotten used to just riding him all the way to the finish line. And here's a case where he's not necessarily playing his best game, and they're struggling. And I think this is where you find out really what the team is made out of because you need somebody else to step up and take some of the pressure off your star player. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Aaron and out long. 
doesn't get there. Finally, love to see the offensive coordinator finds a way to get the ball to the tight end. The quarterback has got to do a better job of communicating with the tight end to make sure they're both on the same page. Otherwise, they're going to continue to throw these incompletions. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds. At about the 41. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on their own 41. Dumps it complete over the middle. They'll bring him down around the 47 yard line. They'll make the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Throws it deep. Missed him. We've still got a half of football remaining. South Carolina's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. If they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four ax handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. at the 46. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Nice play fake. And he's immediately tackled. First and 10, ball on the 38. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Throws. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. 
the wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Cardinal take the field ranked second in the nation. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Stanford, they're looking to win their third straight. This baby's tied at 17. All tied up at 14 in our game, Reese. Justice has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line. And he's taken down at the 29. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Crystal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He gets to about the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He makes his way to about the 42. That makes it first and 10. He makes his way to about the 45. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. He's hit and taken down. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. the stop around the 28 yard line that'll make it second and four here's the eighth play of the series gets it out quickly This is the ninth play of this drive. He's at the 20. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third downs. That's a great tackle at the one. That makes it first and goal.
This is the 11th play of this drive. They line up in the jumbo set. South Carolina. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. So they had their chances to stop him, but in the end, he comes up with a big play. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Cardinal come into the game ranked second, feeling the heat from number three. And for Stanford, they've now won three in a row. Stanford finishes it off 24-17. Reese, a touchdown difference in this one, 21-14. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Cody from the five. Brought down at the 22. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He steps out at the 25-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 25. Quick throw. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Play action. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. South Carolina's lead is a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Quick strike to the receiver. Campbell picks up six yards with that grab. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Davis off the fake. Fires it out. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. I think this offense right now has a ton of confidence because their offense seems to be in sync. Anytime you can run the football and mix in play action pass, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And right now, well, you can almost feel this offense's confidence growing as we saw in that last play. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. This is the eighth play of the drive. And he's tackled right away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks.
gets to about the 11 yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Georgia! The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 35. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 39. Mark 55, Mark 55. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's hit immediately. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Here's a receiver screen. Ball's incomplete. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Here's an opening. That's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on the football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. First and goal as they look to take the lead. Touchdown, Gamecocks. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff.
from the five yard line. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. Georgia's staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero and be able to win this game. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they push him out at the 40. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at the 47. That'll bring up second and three. He's hit before he can go anywhere. So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump off pass that was good enough for a first down. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Maxwell breaks it up. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. at the 38. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Georgia will have one timeout remaining. Grabs it and hammered right there. The spike will stop the clock. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Going for it all to the end zone. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. South Carolina is up seven. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. The Bulldogs using their third and last timeout. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Gamecocks get the victory, 28-21. Kurt, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, we got about what we thought we'd get. Two evenly matched teams fighting hard in a very close game. South Carolina made the plays they had to to win this game. And that's what it often comes down to with two evenly matched teams. Whoever comes through in a clutch gets the W. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.